Thanks for joining Animal Justice Emergency. This is Pamela and today we've got something really fun and exciting to talk about and that is activism. Hey, fun, exciting, empowering, yes. Well, maybe not. When we talk about vegan activism, we start to move into a territory that I've never been to before as an activist of like many decades standing on all sorts of different social justice issues. Veganism, vegan activism is on a little perch of its own. I watched a video the other day, it was a 10 minute video from one of the great big influencers, one of these white male saviour influencer types, okay, earthling Ed, and um, he was talking about activism and I was struck and challenged by his descriptions of the activism. First of all he referred to activism as events rather than protests or anything like that it was events which I thought well wow, that's interesting an interesting framing. Why are the events? It makes it sound like a social occasion. A lot of what Ed was saying was talking about the social benefits of the activism. He used words like meeting some really great people that was the saves. When he talked about anonymous and the voiceless, he was saying it's a really good community, global mu movement. It's empowering to know that you're making a positive difference and changing people's minds. And that's what you do when you leave. You always feel like you've done a great job and are part of something that's changing the world. That's an anonymous and the voiceless action. Based on what? Come on, Ed. You, you've made a big assertion, you're changing the world? You're having a few conversations with bystanders. Let's get a bit real here. No actual activist would make that sort of massive unsubstantiated claim, especially given that the number of animals that are being tortured to death every single year is actually going up globally. You cannot possibly say that, but you're asserting it as though it's an incontrovertible fact. It's you've just made that up. It is not changing the world. It's talking to a few people. Can we get real? The other thing he says is, and again, it's like not like any other kind of activism that I've ever really taken part in. It's super easy to do and not stressful at all. Let's think of people, other activists, Gandhi, maybe like Martin Luther King, activists who took themselves the causes that they were doing the activism for. They took it seriously. They didn't bang on about how it was super easy and not stressful at all. People got beaten up, people got hurt. People sacrificed their lives. People went to prison because they took themselves and their, their causes seriously. It's not great when people are talking about activism as super easy and not stressful at all. That's a social club. He talks about protesting fur and he says it's a fun form of activism. Super fun, super effective. Is it? It may be occasionally effective, but we don't know if it's super effective. I love protest. It's one of my favourite things to do, says Ed. He mentions next, sabs, hunt sabs, as a form of activism. And this really gets sort of, it's mentioned, but nothing is said. It's not referred to as super fun. It's not referred to as building community. It's not referred to as global. It's not referred to as great. It's not his favourite. I don't think he's done it. I haven't done it either. But it does, it's not, apparently not stressful. So what does that mean? best experiences of Ed's life was getting involved in an animal rights march. Come on Ed, I mean you know you've given TEDx talks, <laughs> you've spoken all over the world, you know you've opened up your own restaurant, you've got shed loads of money coming in on your Patreon account mate, that must be a kind of really good experience. The march is the best experience so maybe they're all best experiences. Great opportunity to meet lots of new vegans, this is in Ed's video talking about activism. Again, we've got the sort of like the social club, the social club element. It's super fun, bright, loud, colourful, optimistic. And take a real stance, be vocal about it. It's empowering, jolly good. Meet new people again. And then he says, if we want to see a vegan world free of animal exploitation, exploitation he's not talking about you so basically Ed there has positioned himself firmly amongst the welfareists he talks about animal rights 
But he's talking welfarers' talk. Get come on. You're an intelligent bloke. You know, use the Socratic method of your breakthrough videos. You've got a business head with your restaurant. You're an intelligent bloke. You know the difference between welfare and abolition. And then he talks about being an activist is a really powerful and empowering thing to do. When we leave events, we feel like we've made a real change. That's a really great feeling to have. Yeah, it's a really great feeling to have. But is it an actual real change, Ed? Or are we deluding ourselves and having fun and meeting new people? Now, I know I'm going to be shot down in flames for criticising St Earthling of Edland. However, I feel like it's kind of important to just say this, you know, not to put the bloke down. I'm sure he cares a lot about animals. He does a lot of good work and he's making a great living out of it. Well, sort of okay, sort of not okay, you know. I mean, Gandhi didn't make a great living, did he? Martin Luther King didn't make a great living. He was, uh, they were both assassinated, actually. Nobody's going to assassinate an earthling Ed. Not that we want earthling Ed to be assassinated, of course, but it's the context, you know, the good vegan, the corporate friendly, welfareist speaking, though animal rights positioning vegan, talking about activism as a glorified social club. Is that activism? I don't think it is. I think activism is a lot of things. Sometimes it can be enjoyable, sometimes it can be really stressful, sometimes it's extremely boring, sometimes it's a massive slog, and you know, it can be all sorts of things. It's like life, it's like work. It's everything. Yeah, it's everything. Framing activism as fun and enjoyable is doing people and the animals a disservice. It's saying we don't take the animals seriously enough to talk about how hard we need to work and some of the stuff may be difficult and challenging and we don't want to do it. It's saying we don't take the animals, the war against animals seriously enough to take ourselves seriously enough to say that some of the stuff we do is not going to be fun, enjoyable or a glorified social club. It's just going to be a bit of a slog or maybe a huge slog or maybe something else. Thank you for your time and kind attention. Love to hear your thoughts and comments. Feel free to like and share if you want to, but no pressure. Only if you're going to enjoy that liking and sharing. If you feel like you're joining part of a global community. Love to hear your thoughts on activism and fun and enjoyment and stuff like that. This is Pamela from Animal Justice Emergency. Together we can stop the war on other animals.